to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I am Brian Brian Man Peacock. And I'm Jeremy Brooks. I'm, I'm Brooks. Mm. <laughs> you know what you sound like? Who? You sound like Nick off a of new girl trying to do an impression of Brooks. I've never watched that show. Anyone who watched the show would think that's funny. Well, there you go. You got one laugh out of somebody. That's all I want. If I can just brighten one person's day. I don't know about Brighton. <laughs> They're enlightened, even. Alright, so we're here to do a quick prediction show uh, for WrestleMania. It's going to be episode 50. Ooh. We got 50 of these things. 50 times. 50 times. 50 times. 50 times. 50 times. <laughs> Not quite how uh, Booker T does it. No, nah, quite. <laughs> But uh, we're going to do predictions. Brooks is not here, but he sent me his predictions. So I do have them here. Uh, what are your thoughts leading into WrestleMania? Because i got a couple. I'm just concerned how busy we will be that day. <laughs> I don't know what else is going on. Yeah, that's on. super true. We should also do a podcast on that entire day. <laughs> well, just I... at like 2 in the morning after everything's done. Yeah. Yeah, I work the next day. I was day. like, you better call in Monday. No. <laughs> I'm taking enough time off work. That's going to be a rough weekend. Yeah. So, any thoughts as far as like the build-up? No, I have no idea. There's nothing. Okay, so I haven't missed anything. This is so weird. This is the most bizarre WrestleMania build-up I've ever seen. Because it's just like... We don't know what's happening with John Cena and The Undertaker. Mm-hmm. The Undertaker never showed up. So is that match happening? We don't know. Um, we don't know Braun Strowman's partner. And it just... Brain Strowman, obviously. Yeah. The, the, the Ronda Rousey tag team match is going to be garbage. 100%. That's like the marquee match, too. Or at least one of them. Yeah. It's... I feel like this mania is weird because one portion of the crowd, the marquee matches are Reigns and Lesnar Mm -hmm. versus uh, Reigns and Lesnar and uh, the the Rousey tag team match. But then, like for us, at least for me, the marquee match is Nakamura versus Styles, right? And Oscar versus Flair, yeah. Uh, And even Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus McMahon and Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan coming back. Yeah, I'm excited for that one and for uh, AJ Styles and Nakamura. Styles and Nakamura are going to rip the roof off. That is going better. To, yeah, that has got to be an incredible match. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, we've been saying this for a while. If this mania sucks, probably even if this mania is good, because I don't think it's going to blow our minds, we're going to switch to Ring of Honor in New Japan. Woo! Brian's excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I would sound much more excited if it wasn't as late as it is. This is the, what, another sleepy time podcast. What time is it? It's 10.09. Yeah, that's nine minutes past my bedtime. That's why this one's going to be pretty short. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were more excited about that. That's not good. So, yeah, I just feel like there's absolutely no build-up to this rest. I feel like this is... Fast Lane, or mm-hmm. Great Balls of Fire, or one of these random pay per views. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, we watched some clips, and there's not a whole lot of. There's a lot of pointing. Yeah. So I'm getting tired points. of it. I'm pointing at my WrestleMania <laughs> sign. I don't have a WrestleMania <laughs> sign, but if I did, it'd be right there. Oh, too bad there's no nothing in the clips on the TV we could point at. No, Oscar's pointing. So I'm pointing at Oscar, who I'm assuming is pointing at the WrestleMania sign. I do like the uh, the New Orleans WrestleMania sign. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It's going to be a good show. Is it going to be a good wrestling show? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It, it, I don't know. And 
Did we decide anything for NXT? I oh guess it's a big maybe. I don't know when we're going to have time. Yeah. We're going to have to try something. We'll watch it on the way to, uh, to Brandon. <laughs> I thought about, because we might not be back in time, especially for the pre-show, I thought we can get on our phones, and I'll probably be driving at least half the way. So I don't need to watch the yeah because we might drive to Spring Hill and ride with somebody else. Oh, okay. Um, which I'm hoping. God, I hope so. <laughs> I'm doing so much driving. Um, I was figuring we can at least get on our phone and watch the pre-show okay. all the way back. Now I can just listen. I yeah. don't need to. I'll just listen to it like it's a podcast. And the pre-show is gonna be. Well, let's get right into our predictions. Pre show is going to be the Battle Royales, more than likely. Yeah. I pray the pre show is not the Cruiserweight Tournament Finals. Oh, um, yeah. God, I want that to be on the main show. So bad. Um, so, the, yeah, so the Women's Battle Royal. Do you have a pick for that? Sarah Logan. Yeah? Always, always the number one pick. Yeah, I should have just put that down for you. Yeah. Um,. My pick is Ember Moon. Okay. I think she is a perfect pick for it. Can't really argue with that. She who is she facing? She's oh she's facing Shayna Baszler the night oh, before. Man. I I kind of want Ember to beat her though. She yeah oh god me too. Which she's I guess that one... doesn't mean Ember can't be in the battle royal and win it if she's still right. NXT Women's Champion. Yeah, because um what's his name? Uh, almost. Almost. Showed up in something the day after he won the title or Royal Rumble the title, yeah. Yeah. So. And he's not on the main roster. Yeah, she could definitely retain it and be in the Royal. But I can't think of anyone else other than Shayna Baszler. Could be a good pick or somebody she like won Ruby the, Riot. The four horsemen. The four horsewoman. Yeah. Of the MMA, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Man. I like her. I wish it was the four horsewomen of the MMA versus the four, four, four horsewomen to be at WrestleMania. I just action. realized how much I would have preferred that match. Sorry for any background noise, just to get ready for work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, man, I, I just realized how much I wish that that was a match instead of what we're getting. It could be next year, though. Could be. Should be. Because how many more MMA horsewoman do we need just two there's Roddy's even... wife oh and someone else the the one they try not to keep in frame for some reason is it Roddy's wife no no cause oh she's included a lot but there's another one I don't know that they always like the only she's... reason I know Shayna is because she's involved in WWE yeah yeah but the, the fourth one I noticed like they always kind of she was right. always not quite in there. I really wish Shayna or Ronda was as good as Shayna. Shayna's really good. Yeah, yeah, I just don't like her. Th- that's fair, because I don't either. But, yeah, she's not bad. She's pretty damn good. Ronda's um, probably going to be pretty bad. What is? Ronda. She's probably going to be pretty bad. <sighs> With a guinea force box in her. I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to bring Mania oh. down. Speaking of which, I want to watch some more Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> we should talk about that on another show. Because apparently yeah. that show has gotten really damn good. But we'll talk about the, the Ronda Rousey match in a little bit. Or we'll, we'll, we'll be depressed about the Ronda Rousey match in yeah. a little bit. Um, the Men's Battle Royal. I think Matt Hardy's, they've been doing this whole procurement thing with him. I think he might win it. Yeah, they're kind of hinting at that, from what I can tell. I'm pretty sure last year, Baron Corbin, or whatever, last year, the year before, whatever Baron wanted, he was all about winning it. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, okay. I feel like that they're just giving it away to win. But who knows? But uh, who do you think might win it? Realistically, I'll go with Matt. Yeah. Putting that down as your prediction? Yeah, i go with Matt already. Okay. And Brooks doesn't care. 
rightfully so, because this battle royal doesn't really seem to matter. And uh, and oh, pray, I pray, I pray that cruiserweight championship will not be on the pre-show. It'll be on the main show. But it's Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali. That's gonna be a good match. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I bet that's going to be on the pre-show. Uh, now that you've said it, <laughs> who do you got, Cedric or Mustafa? Mustafa. Yeah? Yeah. Me and Brooks have uh, Cedric. You just got to be different. Yep, I do. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be one of the best matches of the night. You know, other than Nakamura and... Styles. and uh, yeah, Styles, thank you. That will be a fantastic match. Oh, yeah. I think most of the matches have potential to be fantastic. But I just, I really want a lot of eyeballs to be on that match. And if they'd be smart, they'll want a lot of eyeballs on that match. Yeah. And I think part of the thinking of putting it on the pre-show was it's free. So. Yeah. I wonder... How many people... Do you lose? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Because <laughs> if you're watching the pre-show, you're watching Mania, right? I gotta imagine. Yeah. I mean, I can think of a time when I wouldn't, but that time is also when it would have cost $80 to get Mania. Yeah. And they're gonna say, you know, subscribers get it free, new subscribers, they're gonna say that 20 million times during the pre-show. Yeah. And then probably during WrestleMania... <laughs> Yeah, for some reason. We'll probably be in the middle of a super intense WrestleMania match and get an ad. Whoops. Sorry about the sound. Someone needs to mute their computer. Yeah. And muted. My phone died, so it's not my fault. Nope, it's mine. Uh, the next match that I'm actually pretty excited for, question mark, is The Bar versus Braun Strowman and Brain Strowman. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even do that with a straight face. That's I, probably what it's going to be. The brawn in the brain thing is pretty funny. That was funny. I'll give him kudos for that. What if it's, um, because the bar said you have to tag in your tag team partner. You technically don't. It, you know, Kurt Angle told him he has to have a t partner. Yeah, but you don't technically have to tag in your partner. You can run a whole match. Okay. There are no rules saying if you're in a tag team match, you have to tag in your tag team partner. Right. Or... The other partner could start it, turn and tag right out, and then technically both of them would have been in the match. Who would do that for Braun? His little. His, oh, that's, yeah, people have talked about that, Alexa Bliss. And then their tag team champions. I'm okay with that. Yes. <laughs> and she still has the women's title, right? Yeah, as a pro right now. So she'll have she'd have the women's title and the tag team title. That would be perfect. That would be fantastic. They're not going to do it. They're not, but it's probably going to be Elias. It, it's pretty likely. Elias or Bray Wyatt, but you know the, the internet thinks it's Bray Wyatt just because they took a fucking picture together. That's how it works. You take a picture together, you're like your tag team partners. I guess. Who do you got for this? The Bar or Strowman and mystery partner? Ah, uh, depends. If it's Elias, I'm going with the bar. You gotta make a decision. The bar versus Braun Strowman, a mystery partner. I'm going Braun Strowman. Yeah? Yeah. You don't like Elias? No. God, no. He's growing on me. Like a cancer. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next match, which will probably be much better. Uh, the Usos versus the New Day versus the Bludgeon Brothers. Bludgeon Brothers. Is that your pick? Yeah. Are they ready? Doesn't matter. You're right. <laughs> they're the bludgeon you tell you're ready for them to be ready. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I... I wish that was like a hardcore match. Yes. Because the Usos in the New Day hate each other. They had a Hell in a Cell match. Fantastic Hell in a Cell match. And the Bludgeon Brothers are just psychopaths. <laughs> So, yeah, that should have been a hardcore match. Yeah. But we know now we don't really get those anymore. So that's kind of a false hope. 
Uh, the next match is the U.S. Championship. Randy Orton, who's champion. Yeah. I guess we knew that, because he's triple crown champion now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, Randy Orton's champion? What the hell? Uh, versus Bobby Roode, versus Jinder Mahal, versus Rusev. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? About that. <laughs> Laundry match? <laughs> oh, damn. Really? Not Ronda Rousey's? That's where I'm going to go switch to the dryer. <laughs> no, that's going to be a good match. Um, you know, you might be right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe at this like. I'm going with Rusev only because I love the Rusev Day yeah. gimmick. Also, who, who, did, who do we watch him? He beat um, gender. Right. He pinned a WWE champion. Yeah. Is shitty WWE champion. Yeah. But a WWE champion. Dude looks good, too. It looks like he's lost a lot of weight. Rusev? He, yeah, he's yeah. looking good. Yep. I, I think Rusev would be ready English for a push. helps. Yes, Aiden English is a perfect manager, and I've said that forever. Yeah. I've been an Aiden English supporter since the forever. Huh? Since the vaudeville. No, way before that. Oh. Uh, I've been an eight English fan forever. I don't think I knew him before the Vaudeville. I think, I'm pretty sure he was an FCW. Oh, wow. He's been okay. around a long time, dude. Huh. Well, Which is why I'm so glad that he is getting, he did, Vaude Villains weren't at WrestleMania, were they? I don't think so. Dude, Aiden English and Rusev are going to have an awesome entrance. Yes. Vaude oh, Villains, I don't, did they even make it to the main roster? Yeah. Oh, that's probably why they, they got floundered the like fuck. They are perfect for NXT. Yes, they are a very good example of somebody who should have never left NXT. Yep. Or needed to evolve, and go on the main roster. Yeah, but you could only do the gimmick for so long. Yeah, I don't think it was over, but you could like that's one of those gimmicks you can only keep up for so long. Yeah. Um. Now, uh, the other guy, who I've already forgotten his name, Simon Gotch, yeah. no, Simon Grimm, yeah. is he doing well in the Indies? I don't know. I haven't really heard I know he had a big him. debut in Ring of Honor, but I haven't yeah, heard we, anything else. We talked about the weird vignette on one of the old podcasts. Yeah. But, um, I, God, I hope Rusev wins that. That's my pick. Yeah, I'm going to. Rusev needs a push as much as Cesaro does. Uh, Those are two. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I I know that's Cesaro's like a whole other level. Yeah. Rusev could be on that level. He's. Yeah. I know he's not. You know, an any better guy, but huh? He's probably selling a lot more merch now. Absolutely. Happy Rusev Day, by the way. Absolutely happy Rusev Day. Every day. <laughs> Bro, you can't just make up your own holiday. <laughs> After that, I, that's when I became a Rusev fan. I, I've been a Rusev... I do. I saw Rusev in NXT when Bray Wyatt was in NXT. Yeah. A long, a long time ago. ass time ago. He was breaking boards with his bare feet. It was badass. It was some kind of sumo gimmick. And next up, we got the Intercontinental Championship... The Miz versus Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. I got The Miz. Triple Threat Mania. Triple Threat Mania. <laughs> Who's got Miz has the title? Yes. I'm going Balor. Yeah? So yeah. is Brooks. Good. Um, Balor should win it. Give him something. Yeah. Also Seth, though. I don't know. I can see The Miz retaining it. 100%. Yeah, but I don't like The Miz, so... I love The Miz. Uh, I would be okay with Seth winning it, but I want Balor to win. Yeah. Oh. I just want Seth to bring back the Age of the Fall. Oh, boy. I mean, now Jimmy Jacobs is gone. Yeah. But he could bring or back something. in general, like the idea. Yeah. Seth needs... Well, I mean, Seth needs something again. I think he's a I think he's a stable kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's just those guys who just work good and not necessarily a tag team, but a stable. 
Because I think he's good on the mic, but I think he'd be better with other people. Yeah. Like a Roman oh, Reigns. Oh, I want to see... Okay, I want to see Age of the Fall. And what he can do is he can take... Um, ins- he can take Sanity. I thought you were going to say War Machine. No, he can take <laughs> Sanity and Bray Wyatt. And bring them together under the Age of the Fall. I like that. That'll never happen, but that'd be badass. Yeah, it probably never happened. No. I would love to see it, though. Yep. I think even Seth with War Machine as his bodyguards. That'd no. be an Age of the Fall. No? You just want War Machine by themselves, don't you? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if anyone's joining them or doing anything with them, it needs to be Sarah Logan going back to her Viking gimmick. It's probably going to be a thing. I hope so. I hope, yeah, I hope so too. I hope they, I hope they have her drop the hillbilly gimmick, which doesn't seem like it's too much of a gimmick actually, from like what, like her Instagram and stuff. Yeah. But, like, I hope they drop that and they let her do the, because apparently when she got to NXT, she had a Viking gimmick, where she had like leather armor and stuff. Right. But you know that would fit in perfectly with War Machine. Yeah. So. I'm actually kind of disappointed she's on the main roster. I wish she was in NXT longer. Yeah. But. She didn't really do much. Or anything. Yeah. But they moved her up quick, though. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's cool. But they also haven't really done anything with her. Yeah, there's that as well. It's disappointing. And, uh, speaking of women, we do have the Raw Women's Championship. Alexa Bliss versus Alexa Nia Jax. Yeah. Uh, who's she fighting? <laughs> Nia Jax. <laughs> Nia Jax. I should, see, I'm pretty sure I could just make out these predictions for you. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I got Alexa as well. Yeah. Because I just, I want to see Alexa retain the championship at WrestleMania. Yeah, I'd be pretty torn in an Alexa Bliss Sarah Logan match. Yeah. I still think I'm going to go with Sarah Logan, though. I feel like Alexa's. Like, there's not a whole lot of wrestlers I feel this way about, but I feel like we've been there since Alexa's very early days and been a supporter That's of her. very true, yeah. Like, I feel a little bit of a special connection with her, and every time she's successful, it's like, yeah, it's our girl. Yeah, yeah, because we saw her back in the... And I think that's why I'm a little bit biased towards Rusev. Yeah. He's also somebody I saw, and, and in English. But they're all also extremely talented, awesome wrestlers. Yeah, I guess I definitely do not have that connection with some of the people I saw from that long ago. Yeah. Like Heath Slater and Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> like, Heath Slater is... I, I mean, love cool. Heath Slater. I do. I, I, I love these guy kids. I got kids, so... But, like, Dolph Ziggler? Fuck, I hate Dolph Ziggler. I hated him when I saw him. I've always wanted to like Dolph Ziggler. Because he is good in the ring. Yeah, he's not bad. I just don't like him. He just... I don't know. He cannot get over for some reason. I don't like the what he does now. I didn't like what he did then. I don't like that his gimmick is getting over. Yeah. That's his gimmick. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Yeah. A little too on the nose. I didn't like him when he was a cheerleader. <laughs> I probably liked him more. <laughs> <laughs> but he still was funny. And uh, SmackDown champ, SmackDown Women's Championship, Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. Nobody's ready for Asuka. You think it's going to be Asuka winning? Yeah, 100%. As much as I, I love the idea of Charlotte defeating Asuka at WrestleMania, because that would be a big deal. Yes. I think it should be, should be somebody like Bailey beating Asuka, somebody that needs that. Just like it shouldn't have been Brock Lesnar that took Undertaker's streak. It should have been someone who needed that under their belt. Right. So, yeah, maybe somebody like Bailey or Sarah Logan. I mean, yeah, Sarah Logan would be Asuka. But, I mean, she's probably the only person ready for Asuka. They, they could do that, though. They could build up Sarah Logan as a badass, keep them totally separated, mm-hmm. and build up that hype of these two super badasses. Mm-hmm. That would be a good good match. Yeah. I, I would love that. That's what they need to do. And Brooks also has Asuka. Oh, yeah. 
because it's nobody's just, ready for Oscar. They're they're building a superstar with Oscar. Oh yeah. They're gonna put on a killer match. I am super excited for that match. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not a laundry match. Charlotte is legit like one of the best women in the wrestling right now. Because it was Oscar. Yeah. And then we go into Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. <laughs> Who do you think's got this? Zayn and Owens, obviously. Okay, that's what me and Brooks got as well. Yeah. Man, I am so excited, though, for Daniel Bryan coming back. And I think, realistically, Shane and Daniel Bryan are going to win, which sucks. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think it's up to Daniel. They'll lose. Like, even thinking of uh, how are they actually going to write this kind of situation, I don't think they, they would win. No? No. I mean, the only people that benefit in this are Kevin and Sammy. Right. But it's still Shane McMahon. Who's He's pretty nice. good about putting people over. Yeah. I mean, he did nearly murder himself trying to elbow Kevin from the Hell in a Cell. Yeah. This has actually been a pretty good story arc between all of them. Yeah, I wish I followed it a little better. But we, For the most part, followed it. Yeah. Well, all four of these guys cut great promos. If you haven't watched the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens losing their goddamn mind on the commentary table promo, <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. I love bad guy Sami Zayn. Yeah. He was so damn good. I saw something about he's still selling Generico merchandise. Yes, because I guess he doesn't sell a lot of merchandise, so WWE lets him sell the Generico stuff. Huh. It's also, it must be, like, his copyright. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's, uh... Art also goes to the, uh, the orphans in Mexico. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, Sammy and Generico are, are good friends, and they... Yeah. It's like, um... Like, people who work at Disney, as, uh... That work as characters. They're okay. friends with. The character... Yeah, you're never allowed to say, like, if you work and you, like, say you play Aladdin. Neither one of us would play Aladdin. But I'm just saying, like, if you play the the character Aladdin in yeah. Disney, you're never allowed to tell someone that you're Aladdin. You're we friends play, with Aladdin. We could play the Sultan. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play the Sultan. Fuck. Hell yeah. Are you rich? <laughs> and then the, uh, the laundry match. Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle versus uh, Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. What do you got? Uh, my clothes in the dryer. <laughs> don't care? Um, it's probably going to be... Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> it's Triple H is in it. So Yeah. And Stephanie McMahon is in it. Yeah. I'm going to say Triple H because I don't remember the last time he's lost anything. Except for uh, his goddamn mind. I don't know. I just... God, I don't give a fuck about this match. <laughs> How is that possible? Last thing I saw him lose was his timer when he was in the tanning bed. You done? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but yeah, I just... I was so excited when Rhonda got signed and brought in. And but then she pointed to the sign and we all knew it was over. She just... Like I was, a, I was a pretty, I was excited about Ronda Rousey, and they have slowly murdered my excitement for that. Slowly, you're right. No, it happened pretty rapidly. Yeah, <laughs> they drove a fucking Mack truck in it. They did. It was like this was is like cool. And then a week later, I was like, oh no, oh no. Yeah, this is not okay. Because supposedly she's had a bunch of training. Mm. Just don't show. Mm. Don't show at all. We'll see. And, uh, okay, now we're actually getting to something interesting. The Universal, nope, the WWE Championship, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. All right, you know who wins? Who? We all win. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, I can't believe this match is actually, okay, now I'm excited, because I said on the last show I wasn't going to get excited about this match. Because I was convinced John, oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh no. 
John Cena doesn't have a match. <sighs> and they hate us. So. Oh no. Oh, um, my brain broke. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up if John Cena shows up in this match. Oh, uh, throw up on my couch. I'm gonna kick a fucking hole in your TV. <laughs> oh, don't do that. We only have one TV, which apparently is a weird oh thing. Oh God, it is weird that you only have one TV. Do you have more than one TV in your house? Comment down below and let us know. Yeah, please do, because we'll get so many fucking comments. <laughs> is it weird that I only have one TV in my house? Nakamura or AJ Styles? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a tough pick. I got Nakamura. Who's got the title right now? AJ. AJ? How long has he had the title for? Huh? How long has he had the title for? A while. I think Nakamura deserves it. I'm going to go Nakamura. Or, or... Uh, or Cena. <laughs> Got a little sick in my mouth. Do it, and I'm not even a John Cena hater. I know. Uh, who has the money in the bank right now? That's not a thing, right? Baron Corbin had it. Yeah. <laughs> Was he? You shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> I, I'm laughing at it. Oh my god. Oh, freaking Cena. So what, what do you think is going to happen with Cena and Undertaker? Cena and Undertaker. Because I don't know. I guess, are we just going to, Cena's going to come out like, please, please, and Undertaker's going to show up? I think we're going to get, like, a skit. I don't think we're going to get a, a match. Oh. Supposedly it's going to be American Badass Undertaker. Right. <laughs> right. American Geriatric. It's <laughs> the name of the episode. <laughs> oh, oh. I I mean, if Undertaker still has it in him, I don't by think all does. means. But last year should have been the end. I swear to God, if Undertaker comes out on a fucking rascal, <laughs> but it's still making the motorcycle noises. <laughs> yeah. He right. It takes him thirty-five and a half minutes. To ride his rascal down the ring because you know the WrestleMania entrance ramp is as long as a fucking New Japan ramp. It is. <laughs> so it takes, he has to stop and recharge the rascal halfway there. That's an interesting idea that you got there though. And it might just be like some kind of skit. Yeah, I think we're going to get like some thunder, lightning, very, very frightening, <laughs> uh, some fog, and uh, that's about it. Maybe some druids. All I can think about now is how I'm going to make a thumbnail for American Geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like maybe some druids. Which was always one of my favorite things about The Undertaker. I just hope they do something interesting. Yeah, I don't think we're getting a match. Yeah. Is this going to be the first WrestleMania without an Undertaker? Or was that yeah. last year? No, this is this year. Last year was him and Reigns. Okay. Remember so, when he left all his gear yeah. in the middle of the ring? Alright, so this is going to That be... should have been it. Should have been. The ending of the streak should have been it. Yep. Whatever. But, yeah, I think, if anything, we're going to get, like, some theatrics. Or... I am American Geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That might be my favorite thing you've ever said. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. And then the main event, I guess, is the Universal Championship, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. I got Roman Reigns. <sighs> Alright. Uh, my prediction is by this point, I'm bitching to you guys to get out of my house. <laughs> That's going to be just me. <laughs> no, because Brooke should be here too. Oh, should be. So yeah. that, that's my prediction. By Brooks has reigns. Oh, yeah, okay. At this point in the show, you're going to have to get out. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm going to go Lesnar because... Just to be different? I don't think he's going to lose. Like when his contract's up and he wants to go back to end the May for some reason, 
He's probably just going to give the title up or something. Or just take it with him. He's like, no, this is mine. Yeah. And they're like, okay, Brock, go ahead. We'll, just, we'll get a new one. This WrestleMania is not going to be that good, is it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so weird. Yeah. There's like no hype going into it. Uh, I, I think there's going to be some good matches. I'm way more excited about the feast someday. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I'm honestly really excited about that other idea we had before Mania that might not happen now. Uh, but I'm okay with it. Be- I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The whole weekend is gonna be crazy. I am excited for NXT. Yeah, well, I don't even know the matches, and I'm excited for it. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano in an uh, unsanctioned match. Okay. The ladder match for the U.S. New U.S. Championship. That looks just like the New Japan U.S. title. But, uh, who was in that? It's like EC3, Ricochet, and a bunch of other badasses. Killian Dane. Killian That's my Dane. pick for that match, by the way. Yeah, he deserves that. Killian Dane as the first North American... It's probably going to be EC3. No. I think, well, I guess that's a safe pick. Maybe it shouldn't be EC3. Probably shouldn't be EC3. It should be Ricochet. Yeah. Ricochet, hell yes. Um, And then uh, Almas. Oh, well, Almas versus Aleister Black. Oh, that's fucking right. We have to watch that Saturday. God damn it. (laughs) God damn it. All right, well, this has been the Future Heels podcast. Uh, you can Damn find it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you just realize you have to watch it now. Yeah. You can find all of our content on YouTube at Future Villains. Uh, we're on Twitter at Future Villains, Facebook Future Villain. We're on Instagram now, Future Villains. Yeah, I put saw a, that. Put a bunch of Lark stuff up. And, can, uh, you're going to have to show me how I can do that. Oh, with that account? Yeah. I just have to give you the login for it. Oh, okay. Um, I think. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Anyways, what, what were we doing? Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Google Play. And you can find all of our content on futruevillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Where can they find you on social media? Uh, on Twitter at Brian twenty five or more likely on Instagram Brian eleven thirty eight. We need to be posting Instagram and Twitter stuff. WrestleMania Sunday, or yeah, just Mania Mania Sunday, which is gonna, what it's gonna be for us. Ooh, buddy. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook Best in the Realm Gaming, and uh, not Instagram anymore. I made that all private because I'm just gonna focus on future villains and YouTube. Best in the Realm and Twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Thank you for listening, guys. Happy Rusev Day. <laughs>